Now, for the matters you wrote about, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. But since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. The husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife and likewise the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body but yields it to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body but yields it to his wife. Do not deprive each other except perhaps by mutual consent and for a time so that you may devote yourself to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. I say this as a concession, not as a command. I wish that all of you were as I am, but each of you has your own gift from God. One has this gift, another has that. Now, to the unmarried and the widows, I say, it is good for them to stay unmarried as I do. But if they cannot control themselves, they should marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. To the unmarried, I give this command, not I, but the Lord. A wife must not separate from her husband, but if she does, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband, and the husband must not divorce his wife. To the rest I say this, I, not the Lord. If any brother has a wife who is not a believer and she is willing to live with him, he must not divorce her. And if a woman has a husband who is not a believer and he is willing to live with her, she must not divorce him. For the unbelieving husband has been sanctified through his wife and the unbelieving wife has been sanctified through her unbelieving husband. Otherwise your children will be unclean, but as it is, they are holy. But if the unbeliever lives, let it be so. The brother or sister is not bound in such circumstances. God has called us to live in peace. How do you know, wife, whether you will save your husband? Or how do you know, husband, whether you will save your wife? Greetings, guys. It is me here with a message of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, guys, you know, I don't really speak much uh, about such matters. You know, I don't think they concern me. <laughs> You know, but, you know, it's something that is always in the mind of people, you know, they just want to find out about marriage. You know, guys, people are very much interested in marriage. You know, we can't do anything about it. It's just inact, you know, it's just human nature. So it's things that we also have to speak about, you know, sometimes I run away from speaking about such matters, you know, I just, I'm like, well, let me deal with this, you know, and not with that, you know, but, you know, dealing with uh, young people and all, you know, so it's something that, you know, th that is always in the minds, you know, of people. So we have to speak about it. So today I said, mm -mm, let me just start this series. It's going to be short, you know, as I always guys do series, you know, I just, I know, I know that if I deal with series, guys, I get rid of all things, you know in one box you know nevertheless you know guys uh first of all there are things that we are going to be in fact points that we're going to be you know looking at in this series number one does uh daddy still put people together you know we need to speak about such things because people are interested in knowing because guys you know as we said that you know we're dealing with stronger spirits guys spirit of the beast and because of that uh churches are, are now filled with hypocrites you know people who are unbelievers but filling churches and because of that many people have realized that people who don't go to church are exactly as people who go to church and the, the, the reason is because what is taught in churches is, is something that something that shouldn't be taught you understand for instance churches bring out best people of the world best people of the world great people of the world but they just can't bring out people of god or people of the kingdom of heaven because their teachings aren't in line as we spoke about churches previously and we were not offending churches or people but we we're just making sure that you understand what we are talking about when i say that the beast is busy in churches and pastors can't really bring out kingdom people or godly people but they can bring out best people of the world you understand good people of the world it's just not people of god it's just the way it is guys if you want a perfect wife or a perfect husband you go to church but you're not going to find a godly wife or a godly husband it's just unfortunate because if jesus says don't do this and pastor says 
you are to do this obviously they are bringing out the exact opposite what's the point you know what i mean but we are not speaking about that so people you know sit down and 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 and, and, and they ask you if God still does put people together, you know, so we're going to be speaking about that as well because it is important. It's one of the points we're going to have to deal with, you understand, as well as sexual immorality. You know, guys, I always speak against sex outside marriage, you know, as we know, guys, sex on its own is not sin. You know, you find people of the world saying that the first sin, you know, is, is sex and that lies, lies from the pit of hell. They are, there they put Eve and Adam together. So for them to have sex, they were not sinning, they were married. He married them. So this just lies. If you look at what happened in the Garden of Eden, you'll find that they be actually, or oh, it's Jesus. We, we don't know how they spoke, you know, interchangeably because by now we've come to understand that it's Jesus has always been the word of God, you know. So we don't know how they work together or spoke to Adam. We don't understand all of that, but we know that, that Jesus has always been there in the beginning, right there in the beginning, and Adam was born through Jesus because everything was created through by and for Jesus. So we understand all of those things. So we've come to understand such matters, you understand. So we don't know how they dealt with Adam who was speaking at this time and how they did it because they are both called God, they are both called Lord because they are one, you understand. So we know that Adam was told not to eat from a certain tree and then he ate from that tree, you know, it was just coveting, you understand. So that's what killed Adam, it was coveting doing something that he was not supposed to take. He took from what he was not supposed to take. So he was coveting. That's what kid Adam, not sex. Because they were already married. It's simple as that. So we need to understand that just because I speak so much against sex, it's sex outside marriage. And I always mention that because I want people to be aware that I'm not preaching against sex. Guys, I've got my own opinions. You've got your own opinions. We are not preaching our own opinions. It's not my kingdom. It's my Lord's kingdom. So I take his teachings because I want to go to where he is when I leave this place. So I cannot spread my own opinions. Whether I feel this thing is good or this thing is bad, it has nothing to do with my opinions. So I always preach against sex outside marriage, not sex on its own, because sex on its own is like prayer. In fact, without it in marriage, you'll find yourself there in divorce court. So that's one thing we should uh, we are going to also cover, as well as we're going to look at um, the fact that Paul is saying that it is good not to marry. You know, guys, human beings after Adam died spiritually and partook of Satan's nature. You need to know that pe human beings became fallen in nature, just like fallen angels. So human beings are also like that when we are born. So because of that. What happens is that we partook of Satan's nature. We were like him, you know. So our flesh is working against us. The flesh died, the spirit died, the world died as well. We've been speaking about all of that. So human beings are actually like dogs. You know, human beings, guys, without laws, they are like dogs because human beings destroy themselves. It's natural tendency that we destroy ourselves that's why guys when we enter that stage you know 16 or 18 when we are out of parent authority we start destroying ourselves and i usually tell my nephew i say listen right now whatever problems you come across let me know i can actually do something about it but after 16 or 18 when you are out of my hand you know then you will start uh causing problems that you cannot reverse irreversible irrevocable problems you understand and that's what happens we start destroying ourselves i don't know guys if you've sat down and asked yourself why the moment we get out of our parents hands we start destroying ourselves and start with mistakes that are irrevocable it's because we are no longer under authority and naturally our flesh is working against us you understand it's destroying us whatever action we uh take we are destroying ourselves it's just the way it is you know so human beings without laws you're dealing with animals human beings guys by nature are just nonsensical we just need to know that so when you're dealing with human beings you're dealing with nonsense it's just the way it is guys i'm not offending people i'm also a human being and I'm, i also know that i am a nonsense you know so i have to after getting saved because my spirit has always been I mean, ha has already been taken care of by Jesus' blood. My flesh 
has not so i need to deal with my flesh and control my flesh if i don't i will destroy myself it's just human tendency and not only will i destroy myself but i'll destroy you as well and by doing so i mean guys if you think that's not nonsense so when you are considering marrying you are actually considering problems but because our flesh is burning it's burning for sex our hormones uh, i think it's age 9 10 11 12 right there they are change guys they change we stop playing with dolls and toys we start playing with sex it's human you know it's this dead human tendency you understand the hormones are changing so there's nothing we can do about that you can't shout at me because my 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 hormones are changing you just have to sit me down and explain things to me you understand and nothing we can do about it it's just a dead nature and nothing guys we can do about it you understand so if your flesh is burning if you realize that you've got so much problems with uh controlling yourself with sex you just get married so paul says that marriage is also one of the ways you can deal with that problem because you know that you've got a husband or oh, well your flesh is burning husband you know come you know oh wife come my flesh is burning you understand that's why you got married but paul is saying it's better not to marry why because you're dealing with a nonsense when you are marrying you are marrying a nonsense and you will realize when you are married them i'm married to a nonsense you know so you need to understand those things it's decisions that you have to make so paul says that it's good not to marry and jesus said that in matthew 19 that some don't get married for the sake of the kingdom of heaven you understand so it's okay if you're doing it for the kingdom of heaven it's okay guys but you just need to have so much knowledge so that you won't burn with passion because if you're burning with passion you'll end up raping people hey guys you end up raping people don't rape oh. so it's better to just get married instead of raping Oh, wh what do you think i mean hello guys i mean hello you know <laughs> and also we're going to be speaking about uh the divorce are christians supposed to divorce and after divorcing if they're allowed are they allowed to remarry in fact i made a podcast in the other show called kingdom of heaven's teachings but i can also repeat here it doesn't matter guys we, it's all about learning and everything you understand so it is very very important to understand those things so those are the things we're going to be covering in this se series because we need to find out all of those things so guys i will stop here and then next week we are starting you know with the first one it's not gonna be long guys you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not too long you know <laughs> it's just gonna be four or five I hope four or three. I really, really hope so. But guys, let me stop here and then we're going to speak about that because I know that people are very much interested in such. Thank you.